should be live. Hi guys. It's me, back once again to spoil your week, starting on a Monday. <clears throat> All right. Where we left ourselves off the other day was the bad guys turned off the sun. A little disturbing. And we're fighting our way to the starport. We've gotten through a couple of ambushes and it just reached the starport where it looked like we're going to have some more fighting to do. To get to the shuttle. To get up to our ship and find out why the sun went out. I'm assuming somebody didn't pay the fusion bill. Good evening to whomever has joined me. And here we are. Oh, we have got levels. Really, the levels can wait. We're here, and presumably our shuttle. Oh, over there? Presumably. Is there money to be made? Well, right now, is is there um, living to be kept doing? Judging by the positions of the bodies, the soldiers walked into sniper fire and died before they knew where it was coming. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Uh, no, this is stuff we already did previously. Burning shuttle, probably not of any real use to us. I'll make an example out of you. I'll turn you into corpse starch. All right, where's the baddies? How many we got? A bunch. Hi guys, how you doing? Y'all ready for a party? You've been ambushed, so the battle begins. We do not get to replace our bodies and find cover and whatnot because we've been ambushed. Why were we ambushed? I don't know. I was expecting. A fight, evidently, uh, my little friends weren't. Here we go! The unrighteous have come to take. Hold oh, on! Yet. Hold on. Oh, Let's get to it! Who's up? Idira. I don't think she can get close enough to uh, give anyone a good solid. Bzzzt. They who discern the future on the battlefield. You tell them. Yeah, she can't reach. Heinrichs. I'll put my psychic abilities to use. Well, right now, I don't think anything's within range of your psychic abilities, so how about your shooty abilities, huh? No? Nothing? Let's make it quick. Lens, that would be me. I don't need luck. I have strategy. And a really big gun. I think I need a couple of them. Um, him. I'll see to it personally. Vaporized. Abelard. Let's see. He runs to there. Follow my lead. Over uh, there. How far can he throw a grenade? Not quite far enough. Cast. 
gas here. Emperor, give me strength. That'd be nice. No, she's got no shot at any of them. Hopefully, that is foolishness. No shot on her. Uh, this guy. If only that were possible. I'm a mendon. That's gal. Acquisition is possible. Wow. Okay. Uh, wasn't expecting to end up in between multiple minefields, but uh, anyway. Grenade. Absolutum <laughs> servitorization denied. A quick four. Cogitation failed. The order is contrary to dogmatic protocols. Idira. I know what is to come. She knows what is to come. I think there's just the one rebel left. Heinrichs. Take heed, rogue trader. I don't think I've got a shot. I won't do that. No. Let's see. Well, if the farthest I can move over to the side is there. It's as good as done. I have a shot? I do. Vaporized. Abelard, I believe, has good demo. He does. I am at your service. Why don't we disarm the traps that are friendly? Experience? Now. Nothing matters more. Tech priest managed to not quite step on. Compared to naval service, that was barely a challenge. Nothing's impossible for this old officer. An expected result. Indeed it was. I expect no less from you, Abelard. I always keep my options open. Every one of the dead have had their eyes ruthlessly burned. All right. Let us not dawdle. This is me desperately trying to not dawdle. That's the sharpshooter. Collect all of those. Where are we at? Gather here. Are we headed in the right direction? No, we need to be headed this way. Uh oh, we've got oh guards, actual guards. That's actually better news. The insurgents walked into a, in a crowd right across the mine barrier, seemingly oblivious of death. The turret was placed in a great hurry, but the Technic Mat never had the chance to activate it. your wits about you. Uh, or possibly not. Judging by the caustic smell and oily stains, Prometheum was previously stored here. It must have fallen into the hands of the heretics. They'll get us out of here, right? They'll send a transport. Yeah, I don't 
don't think that's coming in, dude. Nice to have hopes, though. Oh, it hurts. Someone gave me low before I go. Come on, lads. Got some goods. Medicaid. They won't be needing it. <clears throat> Got another level for us? Well, I should probably do our leveling up then. Ooh, we're about to get promoted, I do believe, and choose options. We'll start with Lens here, on account of I'm him. Ballistic skill, is that the soft cap? Perception, intelligence, weapon skill. Hand-to-hand -hand weapons? Ooh! Perception. Ah, characteristic training, ballistic skill. There we go. New rank, rank 14. Ah, another upgrade to dismantling attack. Is that the only thing we can upgrade? That, that doesn't seem awesome. Just that, huh? Okay. Uh, let's see. Cripples the enemy, reducing their weapon skill and ballistic skill. I already have that feature. Target cannot move. Hmm. Till the end of combat, the target temp here reduced by three. Dismantling attack upgrade. Why can't I not select that? Won't let me select it. Let me select it. I don't know. I already have that feature. Okay, at level 16 we get to choose. But it won't let me choose. I guess I don't have. There weren't two levels, I guess. I haven't gotten this level yet. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. All right, now I get it. Now I understand. Just took me a minute to figure it out. Uh, Pascal, newest member of my crew. Um, I need more ballistic skill for him. Probably pretty good. Fires of the Forge. Fourth level is three. Deflection against burning effect and flame weapons. Attacking 10% bonus to hit and dodge reduction against any target they hit with a single target attack. Plasma, Melta, or Power Weapon deals additional damage. Advanced skill logic. Hell yeah. More logic. Okay. Next up. Einrex. Well, how about some more carousing? He is really good at carousing. Uh, I can't blame a guy. I wish I had more time for carousing. Oh, wait, I have all the time in the world. Uh, I wish I had the constitution for more carousing. That's a little more accurate. Uh, agility or strength? His current agility is 35. His current strength is 40. Let's give him a little more agility. He's pretty slow running around. Athletics. For a guy who mostly has um, melee combat, the ability to actually get into combat a little bit faster would be good. Uh, demolition. More demolition would probably be better, though. Idira. Have some Idira, my dear. Uh, intelligence, ballistic skill, weapon skill, huh? Uh, probably ballistic skill. A little backup gun. 
Seems like it might be a good idea. Advanced skill awareness. She has 100 awareness. She's really aware. She's awareing me out. <laughs> Is this thing on? Perception, willpower. How about even more perception for her? Yeah. And over here. More warp lore, I think. Okay, I, we, we got it. It hurts. Fine, fine, fine. Back out into the starport. So we need to find what we're actually looking for is a shuttle. So uh, throw a quick save here. Shuttle, please. We're here, so I'm going to assume we'll shuttle some over there. Is there money to be made? That was a save. Game auto saved, huh? I wonder. All right, we got guards. Find a shuttle. I have found a shuttle. The guards appear to be chatting with someone, or perhaps someone or guarding someone. Is that the governor? I don't know. The stench of physaline and blood blankets, the starport. Echoes of shouts and gunfire drift over the landing pads. The shards of plexiglass crunch underfoot. You recognize Sergeant Malgar amid the crowd huddled next to the shuttles. He was the soldier who greeted you upon your arrival on Mike Edmund North, the one I recommended for promotion. The sergeant's chest is fitted with a sturdy looking flask vest, flak vest bearing insignia customary among your troops. One of the enforcers you sent must have given it to Malgar as a gift. A group of bloodied and frightened people wedged between Malgar's wardens and the shuttles. You recognize them as the governor of the planet and the members of his high-ranking entourage. Their expensive attire has been torn in the fight and many bare wounds left by bayonets. Nothing, nothing spoils the cut of a nice, bespoke, tailored piece of clothing like a good stabbing. Examine the people in front of the uh, shuttle. Let's see. Some of the nobles are paralyzed with fear. Others have succumbed to despair. Two corpses are lying on the ground with their arms outstretched. Black blood pooled under one of them. The other's skull has been split open like a nut, encircled by a pinkish crimson halo of bone splinters and bits of brain matter. Detail, I'm not sure we needed. We can see, you know, blood and death and stuff. Sergeant, where are the people who were sent to assist you from my ship? They already went back to your ship, sir. He's trying to sound respectful, but his voice is vibrating like a taut string. Good people, your soldiers. They helped us out, unlike this carrion. Sergeant Malgar, our esteemed governor. Ooh, he just punched him, I think. And his gang of cronies have been cowering behind us, and now when things got rough, they thought they could scarper. Uh, that means run away. And leave us here to die. We've shed our blood for him and broken our backs to provide for him. After all this, you think that's fair, you piece of grok shit? His stun baton hits the governor in the chest, causing the adornments on the governor's uniform to jingle in unison. Oh, music! We have music. Adira flinches and starts babbling desperately. No, 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 no. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. The governor spits out blood and opens his mouth to respond when his head explodes. His body falls limp to the side, his remaining eye staring upward. Sergeant Malgar, the chorus of the noble screams cannot drown out the sergeant's spiteful whisper. Enough, he said your peace. For generations upon generations, the nobles of this ward Carol cared for Rykad Minoris and ensured the prosperity of its inhabitants. And this is your gratitude, peasant? For killing a nobleman, you deserve to be executed where you stand. She throws out her hand, and Malgar's knees buckle. My mentor was right. The rabble truly have no honor. Madness punishable by death. 
We don't have time for this. We need to get to the shuttle. Another near position could have forgotten the Emperor protects all of his subjects, but surely not you. It is your duty to help anyone you can. Malgar now is not the time to massacre each other. It is not the first time I've done the impossible. I will get everyone out of here, including your men. I can't make I'm not gonna make that promise. Another in your position could have forgotten that the Emperor protects all of his subjects, but surely not you. It is your duty to help anyone you can. Your Lordship, sir. You helped us when things looked grim for us. I'll do as you say. Why you want to save these parasites, that I don't understand. But maybe not all of them deserve death. 52 XP. A dull thud comes from deep within the starboard. Heavy footsteps shake the rock creep, raising an unpleasant tremor in your bones. 140 XP. Well, that's one shuttle less. You thought you had killed Aurora, false believers. Tremble, for I am Aurora. I am the Herald of Change. Behold the final dawn and die! Chaos Knight? Your arrogance will be your downfall. The disgrace of Monarchia will be avenged. Let's see, uh, who do we start with? We, we, we leveled up again. I think Lens will move as far away as possible. I'm a sniper. I, I don't need to be close. I can shoot him from most anywhere. First, Avalard is second. All right, I'm going to move Avalard actually over here. He's going to give me a good solid charge. Hidira, there. Cassia. Cassia, there. Here we go, guys. Steal yourselves. Just in case. Them all over the place. Uh, Aurora. Okay, well, uh, first things first. I won't stand for it. On it. He's got 105 hit points. He's got 94 hit points. Targets one enemy within 10 cells the operative. That target immediately gains three exploits. Who if not me? All right. Removes all exploits from the target, decreasing their dodge parry and armor until the start of the next turn. Hmm. Not yet. Abelard is next. I 
think you will move back a bit. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. And then... Oh, the charge is out. Oh, crap. I will do my job. That did not go as expected. Someone. There weren't supposed to be any additional bad guys. Stop! Ow! Me. That was not good. Let's see. What do we got? She's better than damage down. Bleeding on him too. Script to prolong you machine spirits. There's the damage health and the target's attack by 30%. Indira. I don't think she can reach those guys. 15 to 25 damage to the target. Anything else? 34. What? That was nice. Adira has hurt pretty badly. He can move next to her. Does he have a? He doesn't have a med kit. I don't think. Unable to change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think he's got a med kit. Invigorate. Stores eight. Okay. Move to there. Get me a target. Invigorate her. But of course, Lord Captain. Still be able to shoot Aurora, I think. Or charge. Naturally. A hit. A palpable hit. And a follow up. Cassia is going to move to here. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. And then say hello to these guys with her lidless stare. It's the fury of House Orcelio. I didn't even see that there was one there. I'd have gotten him too. See to it personally. All the way over here. But then I'm a sniper. 95%. Boot to the head. Vaporized. Abelard is up. Uh, if he moves to here. Can he charge the guy this time? No, I don't have that charge of it. Try to shoot. Victory is imminent. Successfully. Let's see. Everyone's health looks okay. Adira's a. Uh, she's okay. Looks like everyone's gonna make it. His colors were like a blazing, raging crimson. Praise be to the Omnissiah for manifesting this statistical miracle and invalidating an unfavorable tactical prognosis. 
We're alive? Lord Captain, we're alive! Yeah, 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 that's kind of... Now I've seen it all, your lordship. Yes, I guess you have seen it all. I have a nose for profit and a taste for adventure. <sighs> Alright, this guy has a heavy bolter. Life-draining sword. And a gem of dark vitality. Trophies have been packed up as cargo. All right, we're here. You know, just gonna. We're, I'm collecting souvenirs. Let's just say it's souvenirs. And we're looking that way. We need to be looking to the void ship bridge. There we go. All right, everyone. I always have a backup plan. Everyone with me, actually. Since we leveled up again, we'll go ahead and do it. The next level, we get a promotion. I mean, for everybody. Opening up the second tier of choices. Well, note I have like three operatives, including myself. Daring breach. Abelard. Idira. And Cassia. Feeling all better? Rise to the top or get left in the dust. I often say that myself. I wake up every morning and I say something about to the dust. It doesn't make much sense and I'm usually kind of groggy. To the void ship. Uh, let's see. Uh, 18 to 25 Rebels sniper rifle? Well... Additional hit chance, dodge reduction, additional hit chance. Rate of fire range is 18 on the one I currently have. Armor penetration, so it does more damage, more armor penetration. Doesn't have the dodge reduction. Yeah, I, well, not. All right, we're back onto our bridge, theoretically. They turned out the sun, which I warned them if they didn't pay the bill. Fusion Company doesn't mess around. You don't pay your bill, they turn off your sun. Master Vigdis, thanks be to the Emperor, you're alive. Our Lordship, your Lordship, we are most gratified by your return, and the crew is full of zeal to carry out any orders you may have. Before anything else, I will hear an account of what happened to the system's sun. Lord Captain, we saw a number of ships approach the sun, black creations of inhuman make, amalgams of sharp angles and edges. They surrounded the star, and then, my apologies, but I struggled to find the words. They could discord that terrible sight. The Xenos made the sun vanish into the void. Drukari. 
They used to be called the Dark Elves, but uh, they couldn't copyright the words Dark Elves, so they're the Drakari now. You see, Abelard's expression changes if a shadow has suddenly fallen over me and rubs his temples wearily, as if we did not already have enough troubles on our hands. Lord Zenos succeeded. The Zenos? Enemies of humanity? A breed of the Eldari, the most cruel and devious of their kind. The design of their ships matches the description provided by the Boxmaster. Like all Xenos, the Drukhari are a blight on the face of the galaxy, but their technological superiority is indisputable. They abhor and fear warp sorcery, which is why they rely on creations of their own twisted intellect, and many of those creations are capable of things that may seem akin to sorcery to the unenlightened eye. The theft of a son is one example of what they're capable of. Really? Are the Xenos in the league with Aurora's cultists? We can rule out that possibility. The Drukhari would never ally themselves with the arch enemies wish we're worshippers. If I had to name one thing that humanity and these Xenos have in common, it would be a shared loathing for warp corruption. The situation calls for immediate action, Lens. We can continue this conversation later if you wish, so wish, but right now I believe you should assume command. What is the current situation on board? The navigator's sanctum is no longer empty, but the warp engine is still refusing to obey the engine seers. Without it, we cannot perform the warning job. Pascal, it may be angry, or perhaps it is lamenting the injuries it has suffered. I will immediately initiate preparations for a prayer service. If the Omnisaya grant me comprehension, I will appease the machine spirit of the vehicle. What is happening on the planet now? Our auger operators are reporting numerous uprisings and other manifestations of the Arch Enemy's powers at various locations on the planet. Based on the fragments of communications picked up by our Vox operators, there is practically no resistance being offered by the Governor's forces. Millions of people are converting to the blasphemous final dawn cult en masse and assembling in prayer circles. Do we have any hope of retaking the planet? I fear that Rykad Minoris is lost. The situation is deteriorating by the minute. We must leave the system as soon as possible. However, there are still people on the planet who have not succumbed to heresy and who are worthy of rescue. Besides the small number of our own shuttles, we also have the shuttles salvaged from the star port. Argenta, the dark eyes of the sister of battle flash. We must save as many as we can. This has all happened for a reason. Oh, God. Yeah, it's happened for a reason. It's happened for a reason that the governor was a jerk and the ruinous powers are being ruinous and the sun's gone out. Those are the reasons. Saint Argenta, whose name I carry with reverence and trepidation, is famed for saving the people of a dying world through the power of prayer. The god emperor herself sent a, himself sent a star from heavens that lifted up the saint and her followers up to the sky, away from corruption and death. We must do as she did. Redirect all our efforts to saving the people who at the moment look to the heavens in hope of salvation. Pascal, the lives of peasants are of little value. Our prime directive, prime objective is to save the holy relic, the miraculous fusion reactor, and the electro priests who guard intended. Every moment we spend in proximity to a dying world, we're putting ourselves at risk. Your life, Lord Captain, is far more valuable than all of Reichad Menoris. The von Valencius dynasty cannot be allowed to perish, and so, lamentable though it is, we must rule out the idea of any evacuation. Heinrich's eyes, like two deep, dark pools, are resolutely fixed on you. The world is doomed. And its inhabitants along with it. The disappearance of the star was the final nudge toward death. The finale of the cult of Final Dawn's plans. I once witnessed a similar event. A world that had surrendered to the servants of the arch enemy and permitted corruption to enter too deep. At this moment, millions of people are bowing down before those who promised them salvation and they're willingly giving over their souls to chaos, a sacrifice great enough to bring forth a demon world. Our only hope of stopping this progress process is to retreat to a safe distance from the planet and conduct targeted bombing of the Electro Priests and Monastery. If we blow up the reactor, a thermonuclear reaction will follow. The world's oxygen will evaporate, killing off the entire biosphere. In doing this, we will save millions of souls from the fate far worse than death, and we'll save Rykad and Menorahs from becoming an outpost of the Arch Enemy. Why is it I feel... I'm going to have like four really, really bad choices. And everybody but one is going to be pissed off at me for the one I chose. Whatever fate you choose for this world, I urge you to make haste, Lord Captain. The planet is burning in raging flashes of crimson and purple. I can see it even from orbit. 
as I as do I see that the storm is already upon us. With every moment we waste, it grows ever more difficult and perilous to steer the ship through the warps of turbulent currents. Hey dear, I'm with the lady on this. Enough talking. We need to get out of here while we can. Something lurking in the depths of your consciousness bristles at the passing thought of saving people. The spike of horror you feel takes your breath away. It's as if you were planning to steal the prey of a mighty predator. The planet is already wrapped in a thread stretching out from the warp. It deserves to have a new master. Why can we not try to evacuate some of the people which the planet's inhabitants can we evacuate? Set an optimal course and carry out an orbital strike on the Electro Priest Monastery, Rikad Menorah's must fall. We'll not waste any time in this world. Pull back and begin preparations for translation to the war. Uh, well, I hope we got the 2,000 people that the governor promised before we're going to leave. Alright, well, I'm not going to try to evacuate people. If I'm going to leave, better we wipe out the infection rather than let them have the world. Boxmaster Vigdish, yes, Lord Captain, I will immediately inform the navigation and artillery decks of the impending maneuver. Dogmatic plus 15. This is the right choice, Captain. May the sacred exterminatus cleanse the veil of corruption. I'm not happy with this decision. The bridge is in upheaval. The technomats' prayers mix together in a senseless cacophony while servitors work hastily to remove a hardened crust of sacred unguents from the warp engine's components. In the middle of all this tumult stands Pasquale, Pascal, with a data slate clutched in his hand, seemingly disconnected from the flurry of activity around him. What's going on here? Magos, why don't you assume control of the technomats? Surely their contribution will speed things up. Pascal is now your ship and your temple. Start acting like it, you blasted cod. And they just, if you do not bring this situation under control, we will all perish. Act swiftly. Crew, heed the word of Magos and of mine. Max Pascal, I kindly request that you take charge of this mess. Thank you, your lordship. You're right. Tech comrades, heed my instruction. The mayhem immediately subsides, and the crew's actions fall into some indiscernible logic. The Omnisai servants start working in sync and the Benharic clamor becomes a symphony of reports, which the Magos coordinates like a skillful conductor. Admirably done, Pascal. The Omnissiah guides me. We'll go with that until further notice. The prayers of the tech priests surrounding the cogitator almost drown out the sounds of the bustling bridge behind you. Pascal, pouring intently over the data slate in his hands, extends a mechadendrite towards you. Please take your place at the cogitator, Lord Captain. Step up to the cogitator. The huge machine in front of you is lit with dozens of vid screens and hundreds of lumens. The blinking lights and endless rush of symbols and digits. It's like the Matrix! On the green background, make your eyes water and a vague sense of alarm simmers in the depths of your mind. The typical reaction of a layperson when confronted with the magnitude of the Omnisai's creation. Among the numerous controls you see, the mouth of a cyber gargoyle, the same as the gate to the warrant chamber. Pascal's voice becomes imbued with imperious force. Servants of the machine god, heed my command. Acolytes, prepare the incense instrumentation for the liturgy of machine spirit propitiation. Senior technomats, recite the prayer to generate a current data report. Operations will be marked with the heat. Campanological protocol, Omnisaya rejoice. I must inform you that for the purposes of safety, complete reassembly of the warp sextant and updating of its data smith blessings are required. If this is not done, then at launch, the volume of aggregate calculation errors could result in the destruction of the data crypts. But we do not have 100 hours at our disposal. We must omit this procedure. He looks down at the data slate in his hands. A minor deviation from the right of operation for the sake of appeasing the spirit. What must I do? Place your hand inside the throat of the Cogitator Guardian, the Cyber Gargoyle, which has been assigned to guard the forbidden data crypts. The dynastic blood extracted from your veins will serve as a key to the data core where the machine spirit dwells. To it, we will offer our prayers so that we may bypass the protective protocol for defective connections and launch the warp sextant. The laws of the Omnisaya know no exceptions, and so in the ritual, 
I will remain by your side to placate the wrathful machine spirit in whose abode you will be intruding. Follow my liturgies, Lord Captain, and we may receive his blessing. I place my hand in the cyber gargoyle's mouth because nothing has ever gone wrong with putting your hand in something's mouth. The metal jaws clamp down on your hand, breaking your delicate corporeal, corporeal, corporeal sheath and releasing warm red liquid into its gullet. At the same moment, the image on the vid screen before you changes. Connecting. 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 Reach out and touch the keys of the instrument panel or gesture at the vid screen. What does it all mean by my authority? I invoke the inviability protocol of the warp engine. I'm going to reach out and touch the keys because I'm good with keys. Input pack.com. OS stab true. Lord Captain, please, you will anger the machine spirit before we have removed the restriction. I'll gesture at the screen. What does it all mean? Sounds of your voice, the cogitator servant whose bronze bound skeleton is built into the cogitator's housing shutters. With a screech, its skull rotates towards you and then stops in that position. Benevolent code, a voice receptor. He emits a sequence of binharic signals and then is silent for several seconds. Hypothesize, I hypothesize, that the defect is located in the analyzer block. I register a reaction to the signal, but no processed response. A temporary override is permissible. The shell was created on a forge world unknown to me, initiating standard invocation of the machine spirit. He leans over it the adjacent instrument panel and sets his hands on the controls. At the same time, a quiet string of machine code begins pouring forth from these locks. What should I do now? Lord Captain, I now ask you to address the machine spirit. Speak the following command. By my authority, I revoke the inviolability protocol of the warp engine. The voice receptor will receive the vocal identity without your sanction. The machine spirit will not accept the data from the warp By my authority, I revoke the inviability protocol of the warp engine. You guys convinced? One of the cogitators' vid screens turns red. I can see that. The one right up there. Pascal sees and raises his hand, signaling the rest of the tech priests, then withdraws a connector from the sleeve and connects it to the machine. Servants of the Omnissiah make now the offering of cleansed data crypts to the machine spirit so that it may be filled with their true and calibrated data. May the Omnissiah have mercy on our souls. I think that's likely. In meek solemnity, the acolytes offer up the cleansed data crypts to the warp engine, one after another, repeating prayers of exaltation after anointing the contacts with sacred unguents. You know, if you just use gold connectors, you wouldn't have to do that. Pasquale, Pascal inserts them in the cogitator slots. Your head begins to spin from the holy censers, foul-smelling clouds of smoke. And from the loss of blood that the cyber gold gold gargoyle continues to drink from you, and the world swims before my eyes. Let the mechanism awaken in renewed purity. Pascal enters a sequence of commands and raises his head. Watching the vid screen suddenly he stops dead. No! His fingers fly over the command rooms, entering command after command. His mechadandrites clicking their pincers pull at one lever after another. The vid screens fill with strings and symbols, completely incomprehensible to you, but clearly conveying something to the Magos. Say nothing and do not interfere. A few seconds. The data crypts mounted, one of the data crypts mounted in the cogitator begins to emit sparks. A moment later, another data crypt does the same. The next bursts into flame and gives off foul-smelling smoke. Around you, the Omnissiah's servants break off from their prayers, uh, and someone bursts into frantic pleading. Pascal mournfully grates out, The mass of errors in the warp sextant's calculations is destroying the data repositories. The offering did not appease the ship's spirit. The warp engine cannot be filled with motive force. We are trapped. Perhaps as an, al perhaps an alternative... Ryzen protocol or an emergency Ryzen? You mean we're running on fucking AMD? No wonder. Their drivers were always shit. Or an emergency launch of the auxiliary coals. The tech priest runs over the cogitator, but something in his pose and movements reveals his desperation. While the other vid screens are filled with more and more strings and symbols, the monitor in front of you blinks and its static image changes. Pascal is too engrossed to notice. Read the information on the vid screen. Input pack on uh, stab true, stab false, stab query. Query? What query? 
The cogitator's servant creaks quietly in its joints, a sound that is drowned by the Benharic hymns and the tapping of command runes. OS ping. OS required response. Operator response injury rescue query. Rescue machine spirit. This is the Lord Captain. Obey me and start the warp engine. Oh, how luck. Machine spirit can now not say it. Reveal to us your power and guard us against our doom. This is pilot scrap now. O oh, hallowed machine spirit, in the name of the Omnissiah and the Emperor, reveal to us your power and guard us against our doom. Pascal echoes your sentiments with triumphant sounds of a Ben Herrick hymn. Pascal's next vocalization goes unsynthesized as he sees the vid screens begin to stabilize one after another. His strings frenetically galloping. The strings frenetically galloping across the, the green background are replaced with stable images or regularly updating status reports. Only one monitor remains inexplicably red. The tech priest's vox crackles in shock, but his report is as clipped and clinical as ever. Registering warp, sextant activated. Registering data stream, stabilizing. Registering zero data errors found. Reporting the warp engine is ready for translation. I am also reporting evidence indicating a Category 3 miracle fulfilling the criterion. Thou shalt witness the mechanism that toils in glorification of its function and in defiance of deactivation. Master Helmsman Rayborn. Lord Captain Ravor here. The crew are almost finished carrying out the order as given earlier. I've just received confirmation from the engineering halls. I don't know what you did, but the warp engine's up and raring to go. We're ready to begin translation to the warp, your lordship. Lord Captain speaking. I give the order to commence translation to the warp. Waiting for you to ascend to the captain's throne. May the emperor protect us. Yes, you can't jump without me being on the throne, can you guys? Okay, we kind of, uh, they turned off the sun, we turned on the planet. The yawn. The Von Valencia's flagship made its way out of the doomed star system. As the void shift plunged deeper into the Corona's expanse, the rogue trader's subjects bid a formal farewell to the late head of the dynasty, Theodora Von Valencius. I'm related to her, but I don't know. How Having I'm paid their last it. respects, the crew gathered their strength braced themselves for whatever was to come next. Well, we're not just consigning her remains to the war. Or a corrupted system. I mean, wherever we go next, maybe drop off the bod there, but... Uh... Stolen Star, I've completed Chapter 1. Master Vigdis, Lord Captain, allow me to report. Our journey through the warp is coming to an end. Lady Navigator Orcelio informs me that we have reached the point where we can translate to real space in the Furabunda system. The Lady Navigator and her pilots are awaiting your permission to begin the process. The Furabunda system is home to Footfall, the only Imperium outpost with a functioning wharf in the Corona's expanse. The tech priests are begging you to have mercy on the machines worn down by the warp and to allow the servants of the Omnissiah to expect and he inspect and heal the warp void ship's wounds in the dock. The prayers and rituals will take some time, which our astropathic choir will use to establish a connection with the prime worlds of your prote protectorate, Darganus, Janus, and Kiava Gamma. Master Zachary Weiss has recovered an invitation previously adrift in the Immaterium. 
the Liege of Footfall, has humbly requested an audience with the rogue trader of the Von Valencius dynasty. According to Master Zachary, the message was tinted with shades of pleading. I quote, apparently the Liege is anxious to meet as soon as possible. Argenta, Footfall, the place where filth and sanctity go hand in hand. Reverend Hieronymus Doloroso will most likely expect a visit from me. I imagine he'll be interested in talking to you as well, Lens. That's Lord Von Balancius. I'll be leaving your voidship when we arrive on Footfall, Lens. Once that is done, consider the Lord Inquisitor's task complete. All kinds of new quests. Your Lordship, young Evain Winterscale has asked me to convey his gratitude for your hospitality and for saving him from certain death. Not wishing to outstay his welcome, he plans to disembark at Footfall. The Lord of Ain swears he will not forget his death. Pascal, I hereby inform the rogue trader that during a comprehensive system inspection rite, this unit discovered data clusters within the captain's cogitator that are concealed from prying eyes by means of a personal cipher and a sacrament of algorithmic authorization. Unit Lens on Valencius has been added to the access list and assigned to the identifier Keeper 2. The, that unit can access the data from the captain's cogitator, provided he possesses the decryption key. I detect a hint of something resembling curiosity in Pascal's mechanical voice. Lots of things to talk about. Are you leaving us, Heinrichs? The arrangement between the Lord Inquisitor and your predecessor was that I be transported to Footfall and no further. I dare not take advantage of your generosity and patience any more than I already have, Lance. skilled fighter, I could use people like you. What do you say? Do we extend your stand by retinue? Um, no, I think we can let him go. I hope we meet again. True servants of the Emperor are always welcome aboard my ship. Heinrichs regards with a curious look and polite smile. An interrogator of the Inquisition seldom gets to hear such words. Thank you for your hospitality, Lance. I will not forget that. Big Dish, tell me about the system we're arriving in. Fort Abundus is valuable due to its close proximity to the Maw, the gateway to the Imperium. The system is mostly known for footfall, the main base for merchants, privateers, and rogue traders traversing the Corona's expanse. Additionally, the star itself is orbited by an Adeptus Mechanicus station, which is off-limits to outsiders. Altar Templum Calixus EXT-17 had the honor of tending to this shrine for a few thousand cycles. I suggest you abstain from visiting it, as most tech comrades at the station are engaged in meditative calculations that should not be interrupted. What do I need to know about Footfall? It is the largest port and the trading capital of the Coronas Expanse. It has a dockyard that will allow us to inspect and repair the void ship, and it boasts its own astropathic choir, the Coronas Expanse Communications Nexus. Not to mention pirate hideouts, smuggler caches, and forts belonging to a dozen gangs, groups, and factions. In the Coronas Expanse, the Imperium relies on this as its outpost. The fringes of humanity's domain rarely resemble the central worlds, but so long as footfall serves the God Emperor, so far as it can, it will be considered a citadel of the Imperium, although I have heard that the ties it sends are underwhelming, to say the least. Due to Footfell's remoteness, it has developed its own rules and customs. Many of the goods that can be procured there would be considered heresy in the heart of the Imperium, enough to warrant summary execution. Moreover, Footfall is the domain of the rogue traders, who transcend certain Imperial laws by virtue of the warrant they bear. Let's see. Abelard, do you know anything about the liege of Footfall? Vladam Tokar is a very peculiar young man. Consider your upcoming conversation a baptism of fire in Footfall's political arena. Such things are not spoken out loud, but Lij Tokara is the appointee of the Kazbalika Mishnim, the largest robber baron crime syndicate in the Galixis sector. They specialize in the cold trade, the buying and selling of all kinds of Xenos and rubbish. The illegal trade of commodities and artifacts of Xenos origin. Footfall was previously run by a liege who did business with several criminal factions at once, but he suffered an accident. The reins of power were picked up by Vladim Tokara, whose appointment benefits not only Kazbalika, but also their most powerful ally in the Coronas Expanse, rogue trader Caligos Winterscale. Vladim is a slippery yet very cautious fellow. He does not usually beat around the bush and doesn't play mind games. Perhaps more importantly, he's no fool. Fools do not rise as high in the Kasbalican hierarchy. 
Keep this in mind. You are a rogue trader. You stand above him in status and wield considerable power. Having said that, history has seen cases where the Kasbalican barons crossed swords with rogue traders and emerged victorious. Do not forget that and remain vigilant. Why does the liege want to see me so badly? Not you personally. He wishes to meet the rogue trader of the Von Valencia's dynasty. Dakar doesn't know about Lady Theodora's death, and is simply seeking an audience with the powers that be. My gut is telling me that something must be very wrong on football if our astropath managed to read such strong emotion in such an anodyne message. Argenta, who is Reverend Hieronymus, who wants to talk to me? He is the head of the Drusian mission on football and one of the most prominent clergymen in the sector. Paying him a visit is a good thing for any loyal servant of the Emperor to do. I assisted his mission before I joined Lady Theodora on her voyage. I need his blessing to accompany the new rogue trader of the Von Valencia's dynasty. If you wish to have me aboard your void ship, I request we meet with Reverend Hieronymus. I tell the Lady Navigator I give her leave to make the translation from the warp into real space. Victus begins issuing commands, the massive ship appears to change with her every word. The bridge is set in motion as hundreds of people start to prepare for the shift to real space and measure the chanting of the corridors to safeguard the vessel and its crew. One more thing, Lord Captain. No one at the station knows about Lady Theodora's demise, and you inheriting the title. Lady Stukara, it will be informed. It is required so that we can dock, use the dock, and besides, he is expecting a personal audience with the rogue trader. He will not meet with an unknown person of unclear standing. However, there is a, still a matter of announcing your arrival. You can arrive either at the station with the proper pomp and ceremony or choose to visit it incognito. Tell me in detail how these choices will benefit me. According to Footfall's unwritten rules, unwritten laws, rogue traders enjoy special privileges that exceed even the power of the liege. However, they may choose not to exercise their privileges in certain situations. Arriving incognito will give you more room for a maneuver, while an official visit will allow you to directly intervene in local affairs. I shall explain if you do not mind. As per the unwritten rule, every rogue trader arriving at the station has the right to veto any of the Legion's decisions, but there's a catch. The Coronas Expanse is home to several influential rogue trader dynasties, and Footfall is where their interests intersect. Of course, that doesn't prevent certain persons, namely Caligo's Winterscale, from subtly pulling the strings on Footfall. If you, as a new rogue trader, start your career with an official landing and a parade in your honor, the other dynasties may see this gesture as the newcomer to challenging their spheres of influence. I do not see that as a bad thing, necessarily. Old Man Winterscale may take slight offense, Jorda will be put on her guard, but you've just risen to prominence, and most people in the Coronas Expanse have not even heard that Lady Theodora's departure yet. It must be made clear that the banner of Von Valencia soars as high as ever. Henry Heinrichs, if I, would, if I may, I would recommend arriving incognito. You'll have plenty of opportunities to savor the sweetness and the burden of power, but Right now is the last time you can take refuge in obscurity. This way, your arrival will not draw much attention, and the people will reach you as a person and not as the almighty sovereign anointed by the Emperor. It could turn some situations to your advantage. Ah. You know, I'm going in as the rogue trader. I'm not going in incognito. I am the rogue trader. It will be done, Lord Captain Vigus Biles. With your gracious permission, I shall return to my duties. I have leveled up. I, the operative archetype, has been mastered. I get to choose. Assassin. Masters of identifying the slightest vulnerabilities of key targets and dispatching them by any means necessary. Bounty hunters are methodical killers who leave trails of dead bodies in their wake. Quark focus on critical hits, defense reduction, killing T-targets and repositioning. This is damage, dodge, and dodge reduction, threat, elimination, hit, and run. Grand strategist, ooh. A master of battlefield positioning for themselves and their allies, a grand strategist, is able to increase the battle effectiveness of their party by designating and strengthening important parts of the battlefield. Core focus, battlefield control, ally buffs, unique utility, and enemy debuffs. I'm going to expand all three of these. Ultimate abilities. Dispatch. Makes an attack with a current weapon against an enemy. Attack cannot miss. Deals plus 50% more damage. And also deals damage 
Additional damage equal to 25% of the target's missing wounds. One enemy creature. I don't understand the difference between the yellow. That's a heroic act. Okay, the yellow are heroic acts, uh, and the red are desperate measures. Characteristics, agility, ballistic skill, perception, awareness. That's for the assassin. The bounty hunter. Bounty hunter may mark any enemy in combat as prey. Whenever the bounty hunter kills a target marks as prey, they gain a stackable bonus until the end of combat. Bonus depends on the enemy difficulty tier, their Roman numeral, and the enemy's icon. 25% maximum wounds is temporary wounds. Three or four, five times the prey's difficulty tier, and critical damage. Uh, it has three charges at the start of combat. Wild Hunt. Nice title. Nice name. Bounty Hunter simultaneously. Make several attacks. The number of attacks is equal to the number of prey in combat. These attacks are all equally divided among all prey. The bounty hunter's line of sight. Attacks always hit and always score crits. That seems pretty good. Perception, ballistic strength, awareness, demolition. And grand strategist. Combat holds there. Two or more grand strategists in the party. Oh, there won't be, I don't expect. In the first turn, all three areas can be created. Can create specific areas, providing bonuses. Frontline, backline, and rear. There are two or more grand strategists. Now. Take and hold. Target point. The Grand Stratus chooses one combat tactics area. Every ally inside that area gets an extra turn. An extra turn with one AP and two MP at the start of the Grand Stratus next turn. For every enemy that was killed in the selected area in combat, this AP is increased. Fellowship. What's my fellowship look like right now? I don't seem to have any. There it is. Oh, 30. Okay. Fellowship, intelligence, persuasion. Oh, my persuasion is pretty damn good. Lore Imperium. Gotta say, these this this does sound like the best of the bunch. I'm a grand strategist. The rise. I gained a second tier doctrine. Fortitude. Frontline. Sorry. Doesn't say anything. I guess that's just the overall. They don't describe it here at all, which is weird. Of course, here they kind of do. Anyway. Uh, okay. Uh, my, my friends here. So they've got five ranks. Oh, that's right. We haven't been um, with her for a while. Who's missing? Uh, the tech priest. We gotta level him up, you know? Concentrated fire. already capped on. Why is she at minus 200 to int for, for Lore Warp and Lore Xenos? That seems like a lot. Uh, awareness, Athletics. Awareness. Perception, Strength or Willpower. Here. Athletics awareness. Next 
next stop. Characteristics training. More agility? Yeah, more agility. Some more demolition, maybe? She's got a lot of demolition. But can you ever really have too much demolition? Really? I don't think so. Shield of Faith. Sooner or later, I expect we're going to be running into demons, so that would be good. We've been bumping our athletics. Let's continue doing that. Firearm Mastery. She gets an archetype. I want to see what everyone's archetypes choices are going to be. Alright. Master Tactician, Vanguard. Assassin, Bounty Hunter. Vanguard, Arch Militant. So who's an assassin? Arch Militant. Pardon me, guys. It's going to take a little bit. I got a lot of options here. Arch Militant. She's definitely made for Arch Militant. Unstoppable force in the front lines. Grows stronger in the crucible of battle. Give her Master Tactician, I think. Last Folly. Ballistic Skill Agility. That's not really right in her wheelhouse, is it? How about Ben? Fellowship, toughness, carouse, and coercion. That sounds more like Abelard. Let's see. We've got lots of quests all of a sudden, don't we? Tethered Spirit. Many of the systems on the rogue trader's ship have suffered damage in battle with the cultists. Dockyard is waiting for the ship. Right. Campaign quests. That's astray. Sister Argenta has asked for Captain's help in a personal matter. Atrium. Other quests call the Edge. I'm a god to your subjects. Are you? This is the, the little evil spirit in my brain. The rogue trader was told to seek the second dawn, presumably meeting another sword show. Classified information. Pascal found a data bank. That is actually the most interesting one. Immediately we have a warden of the expanse, Zebiar Kalkazar. Stolen stars, uh, the Drukari, unidentified void ship. We have no contacts, right? right? So the quest we want is classified information. Hmm. 
Master Helms with Ravor, Vigdis, the map, Factotum, Lord Captain's Quarters. I'm assuming that's where I can look into this one. Personal cogitator. Ah. It is here in which you will find. name was in here before, I swear to it to was to you. No, it was in something else. It was in a different game where a magnifying lens has a... Sorry, my bad. I didn't, in fact, pre-order this. Uh, we got a lot of stuff in the vault. Oh, that's right, I dropped stuff off here. Right. The ticking of the clock is too quiet for its bulky size. Personal cogitator. Why can I not seemingly click on the personal cogitator? I can click on the ancestry records. I can click on the vault. But there does not appear to be a way to click on the personal cogitator unless the ancestry records are what it is. Nope, nope, don't come back here. I guess that's what that is. All right. so we also have a... Goods. Unfinished letter. His chagrin is irrelevant. Void fear's mistake cost me too much. Years of work... Tremendous resources all wasted. He has failed at what he was supposed to be irreproachable at, uncovering spies. And this one was a senior officer. I'm not about to discard him. Conrad has served me for too long for his removal to go painlessly for the protectorate. Besides, he's no fool. He could not have seriously expected to become the next in the Von Valencius line when his skills and talents as master of whispers are so valuable. Let his disinheritance serve as a humiliating but instructive lesson from which... which he may yet learn. So that's why he betrayed. It's because she, she removed him from the inheritance. Beyond the stained glass, the distant stars glimmer in the darkness of endless space, filling you with an odd sense of dread. All right, where am I supposed to find... No. Found a databank belonging, I, I guess I actually have to talk to um, Pascal then. I thought it would be here in my quarters, but uh, evidently that is not the case. This is one of the shortcomings of the game. It's when my character should know where I'm supposed to go, but I don't. That's that's again, that's basically is the problem with the map. The map not giving us information that it should. Um, let's go talk to Pascal.
that's that must be really a, a, a lot to try and keep straight. Uh, tell me more about Adeptus. Mechanics. I am honored to belong to the priesthood of Mars, guided by its tenets. We safeguard technology against the impure and the unenlightened. That is where the cult of the Onasaya originated, and where we were granted the first revelations. Many millennia ago, we made an alliance with the Emperor of Terror, and have served the Imperium ever since, paying a tribute to machinery, weapons, and void ships. Everything that bears the blessed seal of machinery comes from our hands, and it is we who make sure the operating rituals are performed as they were meant to. We are everywhere. We are the Mars forged steel bars that give the Imperium strength. No more questions. Acknowledged. May your labors be Uh huh. So, um, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go for this quest. This is what I'm talking about. Bridge Cogitator. Okay. Bridge on the bottom of the lamps here. Bridge cogitator. I would have assumed that that would be it, the captain's. The captain's chair. But that's not it. So now I have to poke around the whole goddamn place to try and figure out where it is. When I, the captain, should already know. Ravor, Vigdis, the map, the factotum. This is my only complaint with the game. Look at that. Is that it doesn't tell you every, things that the captain should know. Is this it? Did I stumble over it? Tech priest, Lord Captain, the machine spirit of the mechanism slumbers. Should you wish to awaken it, use the key of your blood. Servitor's powerful jaws close on your hand with a screeching clack. You feel the cold metal pierce your skin and draw blood. Fid screens flicker restlessly. The sacred mechanism is awake and ready to receive your request, Lord. Okay, this is where I needed to go. This needs to be marked on the map. Clearly. Because it's obvious to the character, but it's not obvious to the player. Informing the system's encrypted data stored. I wish to know its contents of the tech brief. They did this mechanics being able to discern how the ship be able to start our engine. Pascal has informed me that the system has encrypted data stored inside. I wish to know its contents. Without another word, the tech brief turns to the cogitator. He raises his hands in a prayer of Ben Heron code pours out of his Vox device. The servo motors and the bowels of the machine grow louder. Its undulating hum responding to his chant. Miracle combinations run down the screen. Scanning. 0 0.5, 0 0.9, session error, reg, rest, init, ident, operator resp off. The machine spirit has discovered numerous clerical errors. The data is damaged. Registering an intact segment, the machine spirit has spoken. The worlds of Kiava Gamma and Dargonus hold certain data repositories. The mechanism is ready to provide the rogue trader with data keys that can unlock said repositories. What data repositories? That remains hidden. The encrypted data bank belonged to the esteemed Theodora von Valencius. She was the only one who could have known about these repositories. Perhaps the former Engine Seer Prime also could have known. Omnissiah, except his code. If I were to propose a hypothesis, it would be most prudent of a figure as eminent as a rogue trader to store her classified data in receptacles most secure. How do I accept these keys? The gracious machine spirit is willing to transfer the data keys to the head of House Valencius by means of an electro an electu, a hypodermic tattoo segment. If you are ready to accept the keys, place your hand inside the servitor's mouth. 
Deep within the servitor's dark gullet unseen, a burning hot needles pierce your wrist with the sharp pain that only lasts a moment. The elect two that has been planted inside your wrist should be enough to open the repository doors. The repository doors, hopefully not the suppository doors. I need to know more about the caches. The Omnisire favors you. The machine spirit is willing to commence the calculation procedures that can restore the lost data. Both have tech use zero, but I have a lot of tech use. Restore the data on the cache located on Dark Elders. Tech use succeeded. The machine hums louder until it lets out a resounding crackle. Then the sounds stop and an unmoving numerical combination lights up the screen. The data has been restored, but there's only a single phrase. Litanies of the motive force. That is all the sacred mechanism is able to salvage. And in the other? Succeeded again. More XP for me. I'm just an experienced gathering machine. Blessed are the Omnicized Deeds. The repository on Kiava Gamma has a security system guarding it. Machine Spirit has recovered a code that will allow you to disable its defenses. The Tech Priest bows. Have the tech priests of the Adeptus Mechanicus been able to discern how the ship was able to start her warp engine? The Engine Seer Prime spends hours pursuing the quest for knowledge in hopes of comprehending the nature of said miracle. May the Omnissiah Grace guide him on his journey. I don't need him to remind me who he is. I don't care. There is no doubt that it was a miracle sent by the Omnissiah as a manifestation of his will, yet the Engine Seer Prime managed to perceive some logical connection within the streams of data. I'm not privy to this connection, but the Engine Seer Prime will surely share his newly discovered knowledge with you in detail. Report. Right. So. All right. So we now have quests to go to the two of the three worlds that are under my control. I think we're headed for the planet. Coronas Expanse map for Abundus. It will become for abundantly clear. <laughs> for ab abundantly. Master Helmsman Ravor. Ravor's voice over the box sounds weary rather than annoyed. I'm getting reports of several ships moving toward us, judging by the fact that they're not responding to our hails, and the telemetry shows a trail of mic macro batteries. They're not here for a chin wag. Ready to prepare orders to prepare battle at your command. Where did they come from? Why haven't you noticed them before? The rubbish of Fur Abundus, and I'm not talking about the wrecks that are about to open fire. I mean the remains of meteorites, gas clouds, refuse from the shipyards. It all bunches together, and the smaller ships hide behind it to harass ships as they emerge from the warp. Could this be the work of Konrad Voigtvier? It is possible. He could have hired some scum, or maybe it's just a pirate who saw the state of our ship and decided to push his luck. On my order, all stations get ready for void combat. Pascal Hanneman, Venerable Magos of the Adeptus Mechanicus. For the glory of the machine god Omnissiah, he performs sacred maintenance algorithms and protects the blessed mystery of technology from the ignorant. As a member of the Explorator fleet, Pascal leads an eternal crusade in search of sacred knowledge. After meeting the rogue trader on the hive world of Rykad Minoris, Pascal joined the Lord Captain's retinue. He hopes that such a powerful patron will help him find his long-lost mentor, mysterious message prompted Pascal to embark on this journey. I, this is the first time I've seen space combat. Cobra-class destroyers, they're moving. You've engaged the enemy in space? I didn't even know space combat was a thing in this game. I mean, it should have figured that it would be. But I didn't know. That's very, very cool. I have engaged in enemy and space combat battles in space on the surface of planets work quite differently from one another, well, I would expect. In various... In space combat, the battlefield is separated into three zones marked by various degrees of brightness. Acceleration zone, mid-movement zone, and movement zone. Ships travel at high speeds during combat, which is why both of your ships and those of the enemies must move a certain distance each round. You can only end your turn once the ship has traversed its minimum distance upon entering the movement zone. There's acceleration... I do have a ram. I don't think I upgraded it, though. That's an example of destroying a ship with a ram. Do 
move the ship, click left mouse button on any accessible cell on the battlefield. Once you do, you'll see a hologram of the ship that will allow you to evaluate efficiency of future attacks and actions from that position just as you would in regular combat. Left click again to confirm your choice and command the ship to move. Alternate, you can click right mouse button to move the hologram. Okay, so... Mars pattern micro battery, one enemy creature within a six cell radius. Short range broadside deals four, four shots, dealing 50, 14 damage each, so they all hit. That would destroy them. Mezoa mac, macro cannons, one enemy creature within a six cell radius. Short range dorsal macro cannons. And Mars pattern macro battery, short range broadside. Let's see. So. There are two enemy ships, I think. So let's see, I can move. Let's see, Mezzo Lance Weapon. One enemy creature within a 15 cell radius. Okay, so I have to turn a little bit. Boss pattern torpedo tubes, plasmas, void ship ram. Okay. No. There. That'll work. Your ship is equipped with an arsenal of weapons to engage such an enemy. You must first pierce their shields. The two shield arrays cover the ship's sides. One protects its bow and one protects its stern. When facing an enemy ship equipped with shields, choose your angle of attack wisely and direct your fire at a side where the shields are weakened. Enemy shields no, uh, recover each round. Rogue Trader Slag ship is, equally, is likewise protected by shields. The enemy attacks on the side. When the shields are weakened or depleted, the shields protect damage. Flagship's damaged shields do, do not recover at the start of the next turn. Instead, they can be restored using the restart shield station panel on the bottom of the screen. Starting shields reduce the flagship's combat efficiency on its next turn and will have reduced movement speed and fire damage. So we did do significant damage to him. That's dorsal. Very short range. Okay. Must reach one of the end phase cells. Oh, we need to hear. He's not dead yet? He's got 16 hit points left. I think that is the end of our movement. It's a follow from me 
you want, San? Zero. I only have one spiel, and you're about to get it. Welcome to my humble little stream of misfunction, malfunction, dysfunction, and frequently complete and total unfunction. You're most welcome indeed, and thank you very, 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 very much for the follow. Good evening. I'm doing pretty well. My first ever space combat in Rogue Trader, and I just blew up my first ever ship. And you were there. Let's see. Uh, can I, I think I can, nope, can't quite shoot them, so if we move forward a little bit more. Okay, can't shoot that. Can't shoot that. Nope, I can't shoot that. Nope, they're too far. Damn it. I think that's it for my turn. Yeah, I'm on almost every day. I was off yesterday, as an example. On average, it's five or six days a week. I normally start about 5 p.m. Pacific time. That's 8 p.m. Eastern time. The middle of the night in Europe. Uh, I play all kinds of different stuff. I'm a variety streamer. A lot of MMOs, some RPGs, a lot of ARPGs, a lot of stuff with RP and G in the lettering. No, can't quite ram him. Let's see. So. Slightly out of range. Man, he's, he's doing a great job of just staying out of range. He's doing a great job in staying just out of out of range. Digital artist. I am not interested now. My stream is much too small for me to be interested in anything like that. Thanks. Combat, okay. And some trophies. Victory is ours. Thanks. Let's see. Alter Templum Calixus. Something out there. Footfall, Drusus's Blessing. And a dead world. Where are we? That's us, I think. Give this a scan. Just some XP, nothing apparently there. Dead world added to the worlds of the expense. The 
the station's airlocks have been sealed from the inside. A Vox recording is stating the priesthood of Altar Temple in Glixis at 17 Sanctuary. I have no desire to communicate with the laity and refusing to access to guests on the basis of the Adeptus Mechanicus privilege and viability, granting them sole jurisdiction over sacred sites. But yeah, can I not? Scan? It won't even let me scan. That's rude. Captain, flagship Drusus is blessing with a small escort dead ahead there, requesting a direct Vox channel patching you through. Greetings, Lord Captain. I am honored to speak with the rogue trader of House Thalantius. May your name be known through the ages. Chartist Captain Austerius Thorfast, bearer of a free charter of the merchant fleet. How may I be of service? What is your squadron doing here? We develop supply routes for Chartists. You see, my ship is a representative of the merchant fleet. In this part of Imperia territory, we do not have a fixed charter-defined trade route. Our mission is to establish business contacts with voidfarers in need of regular ship repairs and those who are interested in specialized goods. I'd like to take a look at the catalog of components available for purchase. Is there no place among the stars? Is there an uh, Imperial Navy rep? Maybe we can wrap up with the Imperial Navy. That's the only thing we can give them. They don't want any of the rest of the garbage we've got. It's worth 300. You gotta start somewhere. Mark 201B Augur Array, Void Ship Weapons Targeting Data Granting 80% Chance, 5% Crit Chance. That's what I currently have. That would be 90%. Oh, I see. And I have 18 Profit Factor. I'm, I'm, I'm fine for now, I guess. I guess we have a foot fall. Hello there. Good evening. Lord Doc Alpha Row. We also have the Leech's Residence, the Shadow Quarters, the Martyrs, Endurance. But the only place we've got is the dock. And who's going to go with me? Uh, ah, right. That's everyone who's still with us. So far, I uh, am enjoying the game a lot. I have exactly two complaints, and because I'm a sour old man, I will now share them. The map is crap. It needs to be functional. There have been cases where there's been a door that my characters could see, but I couldn't see, and it didn't show up. It needed to be on the map. Or, most recently, there was a thing on my bridge I needed to click on, but there was no indicator on the map as to where it was, so I had to wander around. Map is terrible. Just inexcusably bad. I'll reiterate, the game's really good. That map is just terrible. The second is, I finished up the first chapter this evening. And every single thing seemed to be an escalating heresy. There was no break, no sort of side interest. It was all very one note. And I would have liked a little bit more not mainlining the, the quest. Now, maybe because it's the first sort of introductory area, it's that way. And maybe there's a lot more choice and different feeling missions going forward. I'm hoping that's the case. Those are my only two complaints. It's that the, the, the first chapter seemed to very much one note the whole way through and the map. Other than that, game's great. It's a lot easier for me to pick the nits than to just go, game's great, because I really enjoy the rest of it. Oh, 
uh, I would say a third is more of a quibble, is the information you get on skills is very technical and not very descriptive in a lot of cases. And knowing what's good and what's not is really a crapshoot. Maybe after I've played, you know, 40 hours, 60 hours in the game, I get a better grip of everything and it's a lot more straightforward. But for now, my assumption is I'm not breaking my characters. I'm playing at the easiest level. You can see that. Don't typically play games like this. We love War and North and enjoying it so far. Yeah, I'm a big 40k fan. Not as much on the regular War. I've played an enormous amount of Warhammer 40k Wizard of the Martyr. The ARPG. Really enjoy that one. That's appropriate. Applause, bowing, more, more. I mean, uh, my understanding was there were a lot of bugs at launch. I have seen only like one minor bug. So that hasn't bitten me at all. Uh, I mean, historically, I have played a lot of an enormous amount of tabletop games. Before I got into, I bought my first computer was an Apple II Plus. I bought it to play games. Before that, a lot of board war games and miniatures games. I have not played Warhammer 40k or Warhammer miniatures. I haven't played miniatures for 30 years, something like that. But yeah, I am, if you look up the phrase grognard, which was what uh, a lot of the soldiers of Napoleon were called, basically it's an old soldier. And I've been playing the tabletop and computer games for 50 years? More. <laughs> I'm old! <clears throat> Sorry, I'm fine. I'm fine. Rogue Trader, Footfall welcomes you on behalf of the Liege. Lord Vladem Tokara, allow me to express my joy at your arrival. The Liege awaits you at his residence. But should you have other business to conduct on the station, I'll be honored to serve as your guide. Cassie's lip curls slightly. This is so familiar. Behind the amber-colored scattering of words of welcome, far less appealing hues lurk, murky and diluted. The look of someone accustomed to lying and hiding their intentions. Does she just spout this stuff out loud in front of the person who she's talking about? Yadira jerks her head and shakes it and hisses through her teeth. Someone's coming, and they're coming for us. Watch out, Lord Captain. Abelard sighs and casually places his hand on his weapon. Let's see who's coming, what's the situation. I'm ready to pay the Lisa visit. I'd like to have a look around. I don't need an escort. Address Adira. Who's coming? Oh, 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 oh. Chaos headache. Oh, you know. It's like brain freeze, only purple. Judging by the voices, there's a lot of them angry. They've got teeth, but they aren't sharp. Their strength is in numbers. Well, between Adira and Cassia, God have mercy on their frickin' souls. Pray, what are you talking about? What could you mean by such a cryptic pronoun? She doesn't get to say the rest. Hey, newcomers! How's this for a warm welcome? See, this is kind of the one-noteness I was talking about, that it feels like you too often. That, you know, oh, combat. I will take you down. Oh, where are we? Oh, look, more heretics. What a surprise. Not really a surprise. Okay, uh, looks like they're all going to act first after I place myself, so uh, I will place myself someplace safe. I'm, I'm the rogue trader. We can't be losing me. Let's see, where do we have... There's a lot of them. Armored Anver. Anver Thug. Okay, well, uh, well, I think uh, Lens can go back here, where he can 
shoot people in the head. Oh, I can't upgrade him in the middle of combat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Pascal. Can't do it in the middle of combat, dude. No, no, I'm there. Pascal's there. Let's see. Abelard. There. Argenta can be there. And our big guns, so to speak. Cassia. Can be there. I hope that's not it. That's coat cover. Okay, it doesn't explode. That's it for Cassia and Adira. There. All right, start battle. There we go. Oh, I guess I have first. I got dibs. Rear. Grand strategy marks area five by two cells in the battlefield. The rear. Allies in the rear deal additional damage. A back line. Five by two cells in the back line. Additional cover, efficiency, and dodge. Four by four cells, the battlefield front line. All right, well, now I know how that works. I'll do things a little differently in the future, I expect. Front line, 15% bonus to armor. And all enemies suffer 15% damage more during this from any source. Five by two. Why won't it work the right way? It appears that it wants to go... It seems like it wants to decide how it's going to work on its own, not the way I want it to work. It doesn't want me to, like, get any two people in the area. See, it, it's horizontal here, but if I move it there, it goes vertical. If I move it there, it's vertical. Vertical. Horizontal. It's like I can only let me put one person into it. It's like it's been programmed to only let me put one person in the zone, despite the fact it's an area. Uh, how about if we go with that? I can at least get a couple. It's as good as done. There we go. We'll buff them, and then I'm going to um, shoot some people in the head, I think. Yep, we'll just go ahead and... Do I have something that gives me additional attack? No, I don't think so. On it. I won't compromise my principles. Yeah, I won't compromise my principles, guys. Be clear on that. He's gonna take one in the head. My gut tells me it's Who's a bad not? idea. He's gonna take one in the head. He never stood a chance. He never did stand a chance. Right now they're all. Tell me what you got. <sighs> Just a minor setback. Only a flesh wound. Hold on. Is out of the trial. Let's get to it. Cassia, uh, she is going to unleash a world of unpleasantness. I have read tomes of military tactics. On these losers. 
That's like six of them about to die. Uh, she turns out to be really, really, really good at murdering things. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Let's get it quick. Yeah. Let's get to it. Someone. Argenta. Well, we move her to here. Here. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. As the Emperor commands, I act. That's gonna... Faith without deeds is worth Nobody can escape the Emperor's judgment. Idira. There is movement in the Empyrean. This is going to not improve a lot of people's days. <gasps> was was that you? Well, well. All right, we've got oh, bloodstained Amelia. We've got looks like just a few of them. Well, we got a fair number of them over here still. Yeah. Okay. Still got something more over there. Uh, Pascal. He loves a good run up, doesn't he? Jeez, got a lot of hit points left. Activate calculated fury algorithm. But Pascal doesn't care. Let's see, 9 to 11, 9 to 11, 9 to 11. And armor penetration, 35. And we'll give him a bleed. Request denied. Almost dead. Abelard. If he moves, ooh, wait. He can get a number of those guys, I think. It will be done. I took care of this one. That killed a couple more. Nice shooting, Abelard. Good shotgunning. Why, it's Lens again. But that's me. I'm ready for whatever comes. We've got two. Who's up next? Bloodstained Amelia is next. I'm going to shoot her then if I can. I have moved myself into the right place. I have another enemy down. Doom Trader. I have performed 500 critical hits with my party members. And that just leaves Cassia. Uh, they've got one there, a couple over there. Step aside. The navigator is coming. She's not even breathing hard. As duty demands. Come on down. Here we go. Damage 
in righteous fury and then she's going to bathe the battlefield in righteous fury you know her she loves the righteous fury as the emperor commands and adira let her take care of me i think we've got everyone taken care of i think pascal will finish this last one off with a smile on his face and a song in his heart Function successfully terminated. Victory once again. Emperor, protect me. They killed. Killed. Every time I warn them. And then they go all, Dear Emperor, our Lord and Savior, how could this have happened? Who could have thought? <coughs> Gang of puny thugs attacked me. The Emperor's anointed rogue trader, Von Valencia. Such a poorly organized attempt on my life can only... You see it as a personal affront, fear not, young man. We took care of the attackers. You know who they were. Stop quivering, unwashed worm, and answer me. Who would dare and attempt such an outrageous attack? What was that? An attack right on the dock? Yeah, your lordship, those guys are anvers. They're a, a gang. They're the worst, I'm telling you. They're scared of no one, not even Liege Tokara. Does this kind of thing happen often around here? Shooting, yes. Attacks on nobles, not very often. Unless it's the Anvers, they're vicious. Not a week goes by without them killing and gutting somebody. They're wicked heretics. They respect nothing. They follow no rules. Go and report this to the liege. I'm sorry, your lordship. I'll just go report to the liege. They, they killed her. They killed my lady. Oh, this is terrible. It is so hard getting good help. Uh, let's see. Assassin bounty hunter. I'm thinking Bounty Hunter is the way to go. Just popped in. Wanted to let you know, stream looks great and cozy. Well, it's mostly cozy. Occasionally I get worked up and turn into a, a loon. But other than that, mostly? But thank you. All right, let's uh, start. Oh, God. I don't need weighty axes or chain swords. All right. Opticon 22 and more dead bodies and some loot. Got another thug. More goodies to pick up. Uh, Commerce, one hundred percent. Always keep your eye on the prize. Success is the At first only glance, these like standard containers, but their frames have been reinforced and their sealing improved to keep the smell in. These are used to transport contraband. I know that. Strange memo. The holy book by the altar. That void. Damn customs guy, he's always on duty. Does he ever get any time off? Does he ever leave for a piss? Is he a servitor or something? Guess who? Hanger by the window. Remember to bow to the emperor through the window. That's a strange memo. Oh, there's some goods over here. I'll just make sure that these are saved from somebody else stealing them the way I'm going to just steal. Thugs, we need to loot for their stuff. More goods. More loot over there. Well, you know, it's it. Uh, if we don't take it, keep your wits about you. Nobody will. Uh, I went the wrong way.
guns, ammo. Good. I always keep my options open. and it doesn't look like there's anything I can do about that. I always have a backup plan. Hmm. Presumably it's a code to open this up so I can walk through, because I can't get to the goods any other way. talk to Opticon 22 or do something with Opticon 22 or something. Should be on my left. Combat Servitor Opticon 22. The tall, hunched tech priest stares at you unblinkingly. A breathing mask conceals his gaunt features. The skin of his hands is a sickly gray hue, while his augments show sign of combat damage and are plated in black chromium, giving a general air of lugubriousness. Lugubrious, not a word you get to bust out every day. Initiating identification protocol, this unit is defined as Wolgus Opticon 22, and is a fully authorized representative structural part of the Cognizant Fleet. And the priesthood of the Adeptus Mechanicus, access has been granted to the following options. Information exchange, strengthening of diplomatic links, trade deals, donations. Hey. Initiating official greeting procedure for esteemed high-value visitors. Glory, success to House von Valencius. Requesting information exchange regarding contractual obligation. Logisticar Theta. Pascal and Opticon 22 exchange glances in a short series of Ben Herrick signals before bowing heads in satisfaction. Opticon 22 head bows, noticeably lower than Pascal's. I would like to make trade deals. Ah, the Explorators. Let's go to Reputation. We'll just, you know. Holy Gifts, Heretics, Miscellaneous. What do we got? Holy Gifts are the best. They really like those. Uh, heretic Trophies. That's worth 500. Weaponry, we got lots of stuff like that. Mechanicus creations. Only 200? Ah, holy gifts. Holy gifts. We're almost to the next tier. Miscellaneous. How about we throw some ranged weaponry at him? We're up to tier 5 and rep with them now. Ah, surgeon's manual. Manual grants the owner a bunch and, and two times his toughness bonus to Medicaid. Also grants plus toughness bonus MP after using the Medicaid. Okay. I wanted to get a few points in there. What is Logisticar Theta? Under contractual obligation. In many cycles ago, Explorator Cognizance Fleet received from representative authorized units of Von Valencia's dynasty, a volume of high-grade Prometheum equal to the fuel capacity of six Tantalian void tankers. Received it, and then didn't pay. Compensate, remunerate, settle accounts. Should I go on, or is that enough synonyms? The stipulated payment reciprocal offering from the Cognizance League can be made to Von Valencia's assets at the current time, after which the contractual obligations will be fulfilled, which archived, confirming the acceptance. She's waited 30 years to pay him off. I, conf I confirm I am willing to accept the payments. Mobile Extractium 2. That's, you can drop that on planets to start having them produce materials of some sort. Sacred machines will be loaded into the hold of your vessel. Hold of your vessel. The contractual obligation of Logistic Arthate is concluded. Cognizance Fleet thanks House Von Valencia for its cooperation. 
I seek the friendship of the Adeptus Mechanicus. The priesthood of the Adeptus Mechanicus is interested, considers expeditious cooperation with rogue traders. Under the terms of the Treaty of Mars, it is willing to provide services to the Von Valancius dynasty. The priority of service tasks can be raised if diplomatic links are strengthened. Glad to accept samples of sacred technology, profane xenotech, miscellaneous items. Study 10 planets. Why do you want information about planets? Omnifaceted study of the Coronis Expanse is the sacred mission operational objective of the Cognizance Fleet. Information about planets and star systems for the Coronis Expanse must will be compiled, studied, and transferred to the Holy Repositories of Mars upon completion. Blah, blah, blah. Why are you interested in Xenotech? Isn't that heresy? The Cognizance Fleet finds it reasonable to believe, believes, that forbidden knowledge in the hands of the laity caused destruction and violations to go against the Amazigh's will. Weakness of mind and will unleashes Xeno heresy, which consumes the laity whole. Okay, I must take my leave. Omnissiah knows all comprehends all. Busy guys, the Omnissiah. Alright, we've got more loot. Right. Let us not dawdle. Goods. A leaflet. We need no rules or leaders. We are not an organization. We are a force of nature. A and V. Is that the entirety of it? That is the entirety of it. That's the one we couldn't get to. Got more loot there. That is back to the void ship. we can find some information. These one, three, four, five buttons with the two button being broken to open this. The pro proper, uh, proper order is uh, hard to determine. That is rations and sundries. I am writing to inform you that two days ago the discharge was interrupted by a raid launched by the Anvers gang. In the attack, three loaders, loader servitors were put out of commission. Furthermore, one cargo container, serial number FVDA16615, was stolen along with its contents. Just as I planned. The container's label destination, Janus, is covered in dust. It must have spent a long time in the docks. More goods here. Sure. These were meant to be delivered to my ship, so I'll just uh, requisition them right here, if that's okay. It is okay, isn't it? I thought so. The walls of the container have rusted and its contents rotted away, a situation not uncommon for shipments trying to pass through Imperial customs. Good. Now is our time, not theirs. Go to their homes, drag them out of their beds, carve open their bodies like carcasses at a slaughterhouse. The Imperial Navy, Casbalica, Corda von Valencius. Their names mean nothing now. Tomorrow we'll erase them from memory. Go and seize power as much of it as you can carry. A N V, the adverse. A new vision, a new dawn, and A N V. Probably a new vision, something like that. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Rise to the top. Boost. Sure. Welcome to Footfall. You can rest here away from the irksome rabble. And they are irksome, have you noticed? The rabble, they're just 
really irks them. They, they irk me. There. Some irk for me. Okay, we're one, one, one. And we've got a one, one, one number. We're going to try that. Hangar A1. Try it again. And try hitting one one one. See if that does anything. Keep your wits about you. I know how to take risks. One. Nope. Can't be one 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 because we can only click on it once. Start with one. Three, one, five, four. Nope. Three, one, four, five. Huh. So it goes. You have, can only hit one or, or three. We can hit three and one again. Okay. One, four, five, three, five, four. Oh, okay, never mind. Let's see. There. We've gone all the way there, so presumably. Oh, everybody else? to tell me something. Yeah, we got everybody. Everyone remember where we parked? I always keep my options open. Uh, theoretically, we need to go this way. Yep, there's the door. Oh, we got more loot over here. No, it's... Uh, always keep your eye on the prize. The prize is the loot, obviously. I mean, that should come as no surprise. Commerce 100. That's how it's done. Containers marked foodstuffs, but it's empty. And by the looks of it, it's not something that's been moved in, in a while. But another note. Now is our time, not theirs. Go to... Oh, same thing, huh? You get two of these. All right. Rest of footfall we go. Is there money to be made? <laughs> One would hope. The dock, Alpha Row, the atrium. Tattered grip, stray, the shadow borders. We've got nothing for that. We're going to the atrium. And I think I'm going to save it right here and call it an evening. Because if I called it a potato, that wouldn't make any sense. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me again, as always. Muchly appreciated. Uh, should be back tomorrow. Having finished off Chapter 1, I'm not sure what I'll be playing. Maybe more of this. Maybe something else. I have quite a conundrum for the end of the week. There were three things I was planning for Friday. And obviously I can't do all three, at least not on stream. There's a new POE League, which I may choose to wait for. There's um, some Guild Wars 2 raid training. I'm not sure if that would make for a good stream, though. And the third thing is Star Trek Online. Uh, there was a ship I was considering buying with my saved up currency a few months back that I decided to say I'll wait for the anniversary and the anniversary was really underwhelming so I've got the currency 
that ship I wanted is back, but now I can not just get that ship. I can get like six other ships with the currency as well. So I was considering buying a whole bunch of ships and then playing one of them, the one ship I was particularly interested in, the Romulan um, Val Kier, Val something. Valkis, V-A-L-K-I-S. A big honking carrier that's very cool looking and can cloak and it's awesome. Uh, I actually don't know if it's a good ship, but it's a cool looking ship. And in Space Barbie, cool ships win. Um, so those are the three possibilities as to which is the most likely. I'd lean towards PoE as I can buy the ships and play them at any time for Star Trek Online. And I don't think that the uh, raid training would be particularly interesting to watch me getting rain, raid trained. So uh, that's for the end of the week. Uh, tomorrow, we'll see. Uh, let me go ahead and connect here into the footfall atrium, and we'll take our first look around. The game has auto save, And it's big. That's about all I can say right now. Uh, so I'm going to call it here. Again, uh, thank you guys for watching, hanging out. I appreciate it, as always. Should be back tomorrow at my usual time, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, middle of the night in Europe. Not sure what I'll be playing, but it will probably be a computer game. That's pretty likely. Uh, so, uh, hopefully, you will see me soon. Uh, have a great rest of your Monday night, and as always, early in the week, I like to set an achievable goal. I hope your upcoming week doesn't suck. Back tomorrow. Have a great night tonight. Take care, and ciao for now.